Hey everyone, it's Ross, and today we're gonna be planting some onions. And I wanna get to that in just a moment. But I wanna mention really quickly that a lot of alliums throughout my property are now growing. Um, they certainly can grow at cooler temperatures. And onions, of course, are an allium. We also have things like flower bulbs coming up. We have sedum growing here. A lot of things are starting to really take off. We have shallots in this bed. We also have elephant garlic that are coming up. We actually have true garlic here, as well as some that we planted last fall. And these are hardneck varieties of garlic. You can see how well those look. I mean, they, some of these guys look pretty big for this point in the season. We're at mid-March right now. And all of the alliums really are growing. So what does this tell me? This is really a great time to be thinking about this. I even overwintered some leeks in this location. They'll probably go to flower this year. Here's a whole bunch of shallots. Some of which were here actually planted sometime in August. Others were planted in late fall. But let me show you guys how we're gonna do this this year. This is actually the first year we're gonna be planting onions and growing onions. Um, I figured because onions are so cheap, it's one of the last things that I'm thinking of growing. But because they're so tasty, I wanna show you, I wanna put you guys down here. Because they're so tasty, I essentially wanna try my hand at them. I love alliums, I love cooking with alliums. So that's what we're gonna do, is really focus on this year, some alliums. And including onions. So what we've got here is basically a whole pot here of onion seeds. And excuse the noise guys, we're on the main road. It's also extremely windy out today. I've got a dead cat on the mic. Doesn't seem to make a difference, but you can see here, We've got two clumps of onions per pot, and we're just gonna take off the sides of the, the cow pot. And we do the same thing for a peat pot, and then we're gonna break apart this clump. And I've already done that. So here's one clump here, and this is about, you want somewhere between four to six onions per clump. And this is called multi-sowing. This is something that Charles Dowding does in England. And we're just gonna slip this in here, just like that. And that's it, we're gonna plant them actually pretty deep. We're not gonna disturb them in too, in too many ways here. Um, you can take your hori hori if, if you want, make a new hole. If you have a dibbler, that'd be great too. We're planting directly into compost. This is the greatest my experience, some of the best soil to use in your garden, whether you're direct seeding or transplanting. Look at that. So here's another clump ready to go. In fact, I think I want to make the hole a bit deeper. And Charles Dowding, I want to go back to him, is that he's a market gardener. And if you're ever looking for gardening advice in a smaller space, a market gardener is exactly the person you want to learn from. And this is his technique here of multi-sowing, where these onions actually grow together and they push each other apart. And they won't actually have too big of an issue. Now what I'm doing here, you can go to his videos if you want and check out how this is all gonna work out, you know, months from now when these guys are ready. But I assure you that it all works out and these guys will grow in their own little space and they actually grow pretty well together, as most plants do. The last thing here I wanna mention is that we're spacing them about eight inches apart. This is pretty good. We're gonna keep about, we're gonna do about four feet worth of onions here in this bed. And uh, we'll have somewhere in the neighborhood, because we're seeding them so close, or in they're in clumps, is that we're gonna actually have quite a bit of onions. I'm expecting just in a little four foot by three foot space, we're gonna have somewhere around 
200 onions, which is really, really cool. So anyway, guys, that is the planting video. I'll let you guys know what happens when you guys harvest them. We started these seeds, maybe I should tell you that. We started these seeds February 1st, indoors. And by starting them indoors, we've essentially got a really nice start to the season. You can really overseed them and even separate them. You could probably even get them to a larger size than I had just now. And the larger they'll be at this point onwards is really gonna get you a larger onion. Um, we need to fertilize well throughout the season, right? Or at planting. And these things will really take off. They're gonna go crazy and you'll know they'll be ready based off the daylight hours. That's really what's determining a lot of these alliums to finish their crop. So the earlier we can get them in the ground at the larger state that we can get them in the ground, that's gonna net you a larger onion by the time the day is a certain length, right? There's a whole timing with this. And if you're not really paying attention to that timing and you're planting them, let's say, after your last frost, you're just not gonna get a large onion. Now, having large onions is not really the end all be all, okay? Because we're doing the multi-sowed, they're gonna naturally be smaller. Because we have so many uh, onions per clump in the same hole, even though they're gonna spread each other out and push each other away from each other, it's really gonna create problems for competition, and of course, there's just not gonna be enough nutrients in that soil to make them all into huge onions. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not really trying to get the largest onions, but I am trying to get the largest onions for the length of my season. Um, so if I have maybe two onions that are larger than the size of one, then that's a win, right? So, you know, I'd rather have more onions than not I love to cook with onions. I love to cook with alliums. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Again, we'll give constant updates on these onions this year, as well as the other alliums, the shallots, the garlic. We cure them ourselves. We uh, store them as well. We gotta talk about storing them, go through the whole process throughout the year. This is also gonna be a part of the 250 days of gardening video playlist that we've created on YouTube. Um, if you want to follow me from beginning of the season where we started things indoors to now and then till the end of the season, we're doing 250 days of gardening from A to Z. You guys can learn exactly every step of the way that I've been doing this. Go check out that playlist right now because we've already got quite a bit of videos in there of how we even got to this point. All right, everyone. Take care. I'll catch you all soon. Apologize for the noise and the wind. All right. Take care.